Have you ever wondered how a computer can recognize images or understand speech? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? Well, the answer lies within the realm of neural networks. Neural networks are the computer's secret weapon for learning and understanding complex data like images and speech. Now you may be wondering what exactly are these neural networks? In essence, they are a series of algorithms or mathematical procedures that mimic the human brain. Yes, you heard that right. Just as your brain processes and learns from information, so too can a computer with the help of neural networks. Imagine a computer learning to recognize a cat, not by being told explicitly what a cat is, but by being shown thousands of cat images and figuring it out on its own. This is the power of neural networks. In the simplest of terms, neural networks are the brain of a computer, capable of learning and understanding complex data. To understand neural networks, think of it as a system of neurons like the ones in your brain. Now let's break down this complex system into simpler elements to make it more digestible. First up, we have the neurons. In the context of neural networks, neurons, also known as nodes, are like the nerve cells in your brain. Each neuron in a neural network receives input, processes it, and sends the output to other neurons. It's like a relay race where the baton is passed from one runner to another. Next up are the layers. A neural network consists of multiple layers, with each layer performing a specific task. Picture it like a multi-tiered wedding cake. The bottom layer, known as the input layer, is where the network receives data. The top layer, or the output layer, is where the final result is presented. Sandwiched between these two layers are the hidden layers, which do the heavy lifting of processing and transforming the data. Now let's talk about the connections. These are the highways that link the neurons together, allowing them to communicate. Each connection carries a weight, which determines the influence of one neuron's output on another's input. It's like a network of roads connecting cities, where the width and quality of the roads determine the ease of travel between cities. Finally, we have the concept of bias. Bias is like a tipping scale that nudges the output of a neuron in a particular direction. It helps the network make accurate predictions, even when the input data is not perfect. So, to wrap up, Neural networks are made up of neurons, organized into layers, connected by weighted links, and influenced by bias. It's an intricate system that mimics the workings of our brain, enabling machines to learn and make decisions. Just as roads connect cities and a web connects points, neural networks connect data and information. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into how these fascinating systems learn and adapt. Now, you might be wondering how these networks learn from data. Well, it's akin to how we humans learn through experience. Let's dive into this fascinating process. Neural networks learn in a three-step process, training, testing, and adjusting. Imagine you're studying for a big history test. First, you train by reading the textbook, absorbing as much information as you can. For a neural network, this training involves feeding it a large amount of data. This data can be anything, images, sounds, text, you name it. Now let's move to the next step, testing. After cramming all that historical data into your brain, you sit for the test. Similarly, neural networks undergo a testing phase where they're given new data that they haven't seen before. This is like the questions on your test. You haven't seen them before, but you use your understanding to answer them. The neural network does the same. It uses its training to process the new data and make predictions. Lastly, we have the phase of adjusting weights. Now suppose you didn't do well on your history test you'd probably adjust your study techniques, right? Maybe spend more time on certain topics or focus on understanding rather than memorizing. Neural networks do something similar. If the network's predictions during the testing phase aren't accurate, it adjusts the weights or the importance it gives to certain pieces of data. This is done through a process called backpropagation, which is just a fancy way of saying the network learns from its mistakes. Just like how you become better at history with each test, Neural networks improve their accuracy with each cycle of training, testing, and adjusting. They learn to recognize patterns and make predictions based on those patterns. So, to sum it all up, neural networks learn from data in a similar way to how we learn from studying. They train on a large amount of data, test their knowledge on new data, and adjust their techniques based on their performance. Through training and adjusting, neural networks learn to process data and make accurate predictions. And that, my friends, is the magic of machine learning. So where do we see these neural networks in action? Well, the applications of neural networks are all around us. They're the invisible force powering many of the technologies we use every day. Take image recognition, for instance. 
Have you ever wondered how Google Photos is able to categorize your pictures by identifying the faces of your friends and family? That's a neural network at work. By learning from millions of images, it can recognize patterns and make accurate predictions, or consider speech recognition. When you ask Siri a question or dictate a text message to your phone, a neural network is what's translating your spoken words into written text. It's been trained on a vast amount of speech data to understand the nuances of human language. And let's not forget about predictive analytics. Ever notice how Amazon seems to know exactly what you're interested in buying before you do? That's because it uses neural networks to analyze your browsing and purchasing history, then predicts what products you might want next. In the world of finance, neural networks are used to predict stock market trends, helping investors make informed decisions. Even in healthcare, they're being deployed to analyze patient data and predict disease outcomes, revolutionizing medicine as we know it. From recognizing your face to predicting your next purchase, neural networks are transforming the way we live and interact with technology. Neural networks are the future of computing, bringing us closer to a world where machines can learn and think like us. They are complex systems inspired by our own brains, capable of learning from experience and transforming the technological landscape. Imagine a world where machines can diagnose diseases, drive cars, and even write poetry. The possibilities are endless. So dive deeper, explore more. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. Thank you for watching.